Hi everybody, Laurel Patton here, your Norwex Independent Sales Consultant, and I'm here today for another Norwex 101 lesson. Today we're going to cover the care for your claws. That is a frequent question um, because people want to make sure that uh, you're taking care of your Norwex investment appropriately so that they last as long as they can last. So to um, make it really simple and easy, it's another three rule thing. Um, so there's three reasons why our microfiber is superior. There's three uh, rules to care for the claws. The first care rule is to wash it with a no lint, low lint laundry load. So you can wash them by themselves. You can wash them with t-shirts, sheets, underwear, things that really don't have a lot of lint. The reason you don't want a lot of lint is because of all those claws that I talked about in the previous video. We'll grab a hold of your lint clogging it so that the dirt can't be sucked in, the silver can't do its work. Okay, so you want to keep those claws clear. So low lint, no lint laundry. The second rule is to wash it with the Norwex laundry detergent or with a free and clear detergent. Okay, so our detergent is definitely the best way to protect your Norwex investment and I'd like to share with you really quickly why. Ours has, um, let me see here, no phosphates, no sulfates, no chlorine or bleach, no fillers, no optical brighteners, no animal testing, and no dyes or fragrances, okay? So a free and clear means there's no bleach and no dye or fragrances in it. However, they still have a lot of fillers in them, and they can put anything they want in your laundry detergent to bulk it up to make you feel like you're buying more than what you actually need. They can put concrete, sawdust, wood chips, anything that they want in that stinking laundry detergent um, and it bogs down your clothes and it will definitely bog down your uh, Norwex claws because those claws grab a hold of everything. So ours is definitely the best way but any major brand sells a free and clear and that is okay to use um, if you don't wish to buy this. But I want to show you real quick how much to use because the back of the bag the instructions call to use a lot more, but for most users, you can get away with using a whole heck of a lot less. So this first blue line here that I have is for HE users, so high efficiency, and that is one teaspoon. So if you have regular or soft water, you can take that down to half a teaspoon, or if you have uh, harder water, you can use up to a teaspoon, okay? If you have a regular washer, this is a tablespoon, so if you have hard water, you can go up to a tablespoon. But if you have regular or soft water, you, most people can get away with half a tablespoon. So that is a lot less than what you're used to, and you don't want to put two scoops in or overflow this scoop, um, what you might have done with your typical laundry detergent, because with Norwex, less is better. You will notice a better uh, difference in your clothes using less than if you were to use more, okay? And then the third rule, real quick, is no softeners or dryer sheets. And best practice is if you use dryer sheets is to wipe your, your drum out before putting your Norwex claws in there just because it leaves a coating of that um, synthetic animal fat and everything that's, that they put in there um, that would coat your claws. So get rid of your dryer sheets, get rid of your softeners, those chemicals you don't need anymore. Um, use our laundry detergent and maybe our dryer balls, um, which I really love too, and you'll have happy laundry, happy Norwex claws, and your claws will last a really long time. Hope that helps clear things up. Let me know if you have any questions.